Well, greetings, class. Uh, we're here again to start another series of short lectures. This uh, this one will be on uh, personal credit, and uh, we're going to start part A, which is we're going to talk about short versus long-term credit. the The meaning of credit, which we talked about in uh, weeks past, basically means obtaining goods or services uh, now. You want, them, you want them now by promising to pay at a later date. That's usually what the meaning of credit is, and most of you have probably have a somewhat understanding of that. Uh, you want something now, so therefore you get a loan, um, or sometimes you use a credit card to get it, but you had you made a promise to pay them back at a later date. Keep in mind that short-term loans, uh, as they're called, they're basically, the purpose of them is usually to finance operating input in business especially. Uh, usually terms are usually one month to one year when we talk about short-term loans. That's what they usually are, even though sometimes they may extend into more than one year, uh, two or three, depending on how you uh, have set up your terms with your short-term loan. But the idea behind short-term loans is just that one month to one year. Uh, a lot of time businesses use this to use uh, to purchase uh, consumable items and goods for their inventory a lot of times that they need on hand. It could be for fuel, uh, fertilizer, seed, uh, medications. And a lot of times that that's how businesses fund their inventory that they, they buy and then they pay back the inventory over time. At a personal level, we use it every day for things like clothing, appliances, you know, fuel, other, other items too as well. Uh, the credit card is probably the most popular short-term credit instrument that we have now today because you apply for that credit card, you have it, you know your set amount, you know the terms you have to take care of and realistically that credit card, uh, how they tell you to use a credit card anyway, that you should never try to float more than a year on that and that's why it's known as short-term even though you can pay minimum payment on it and that can extend to three to ten years paying a lot of interest on it. The short-term credit may be uh, also provided by a seller, like your business, or you know a business, or you're dealing with a vendor that for your business may offer a line of credit, which means that because of your business and because they want your business, they give you a line of credit, which means that you can go ahead and order and buy things with maybe a 30-day or 45-day uh, line of credit, which means that you order it, they deliver it, they send you an invoice, and then you promise to pay it off within 30 or 45 days, whatever uh, the uh, time that you have set. And that a lot of times businesses use that to keep your business because you know if you have a line of credit there, that means you can always float some money for 30 or 45 days, get what you need, and then pay it off at the end of the month instead of putting the money up front. Also, you look at uh, short-term loans. You also should know they're use, they're always on secure, and that's why they're short-term. Is which means sometimes they're called signature loans or personal loans. Um, on secure loans means that the lender relies on you or you know whoever borrowing the money promise to pay it back. So, you know, it's a, it's a signature personal loan that you promise to pay it back, and so realistically, they could lose everything if you kind of don't. The uh, but because the increased risk on that, that means you're going to have a higher interest rate, and so because unsecured loans tend to be higher, and sometimes you can see them from anywhere from uh, I mean a good unsecured loan can be seven percent, and of course I've seen some places offer zero because of the uh, of your uh, credit rating you may have, but usually they're around seven to it could be as high as and I've seen them as high as forty percent, which is really remarkable that somebody would pay forty percent for a short-term uh, loan but usually the higher the loan the more risk you are so as you when even when you buy a car or anything the higher interest rate depends on what your credit rating is how good you are paying back your loans but on secure loans usually you have nothing there to uh, you know back you on that long-term loans a little different uh, usually it's for you know when you're dealing with a business or personal in investments for a person uh, or business uh, things like you know automobiles or equipment or, or uh, uh, machinery it could be for buildings or it could be real estate these things are large amount of monies that really can't be paid off maybe in a you know in a short term or in a year year time so you what you do is you go for the long-term loans long-term loans usually like for example an automobile for example or equipment they can go for range from anywhere from three to seven years doesn't mean you can you don't have to go that full amount you can pay them off early which most 
uh, people with uh, money management skills especially tell you to pay it off early uh, and then you don't have to pay as much interest on it uh, buildings and real estate same thing most generally you see them from 10 to 30 years mortgages you usually the common thing is 30 years but you can get a mortgage for 7 10 15 years of course the lower the amount of years usually you get a better interest rate on them higher amount of years you usually have to pay a little higher interest rate on it so uh, that's what long-term loans are used for then there's also the thing about uh, long-term loans they usually uh, you have to put amount down uh, uh, a deposit, or not a deposit, but amount of money down to get that loan. Like for example, you're investing 20%. That's usually what the the common amount you need to put down. Like a mortgage, you need to put down 20%. Uh, and that that gives you the the type of uh, um, agreement. There's some loans that have what they call a balloon payment. A balloon payment means that you pay a small amount during the years, but at the end of the loan, all of a sudden this large amount of money hits you. So you, basically what the thinking here is that while you're paying small amounts now you're going to be saving up money getting money uh, ready so that when that at the end of that loan comes when that big one comes in you pay the, the amount off I mean that's the thought even though a lot of people don't really recommend that because you never know what kind of emergencies you're gonna have before that time so that's the that's the, what a balloon payment is so this is uh, the end of the short term versus long term loan uh, part A. We'll be moving to Part B now next, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.